Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to review the Pixel Experience Roam based on Android 13 for OnePlus 70 device. So this is going to be the first Roam based on Android 13 on this channel for OnePlus 70. And in the start of the video, I will review the entire Roam and this is in beta, it is not in stable. So I'm going to review the entire thing and at the end of the like this video, there will be an entire tutorial of how you can install this Roam on your OnePlus 70 device. So the only thing required to install this Roam on your OnePlus 70 device is an unlocked bootloader. So if you don't know how to do that and if you haven't done it till now, there will be a link on top right corner of this video. Just go there, unlock your bootloader and continue with this video. So without wasting further time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and you're watching Snaptech. So let's get started. So the first thing you will see after installing the Pixel Experience Chrome based on Android 13 on your OnePlus 70 device, you will see this basic wallpaper. It is like default wallpaper. I have not changed it. It comes with this wallpaper and you will see minimal apps like some of this have been installed by me and it comes with very little app which helps us to keep more of my storage and doesn't fill your phone with bloatware which can't be uninstalled so I will show you now currently about phone and I'll go to my Android version you can see that I'm running on Android 13 you can even customize your wallpaper and just it's very aesthetic like I've seen something it will change the wallpaper it will just apply on the whole screen like a gradient and gives a very nice effect while you change the wallpaper like you can see over here as well as you can also change the home setting if you want to do it and you can also configure the wallpaper and style like I can select the ASIN colors which I want to it comes with a variety of colors you can also let the wallpaper decide which color you want according to your wallpaper it applies to a color scheme on your phone itself it also comes with this basic colors you can choose from like there are a lot of colors Else you can select the dark theme and light theme from over here. So I will disable it, my phone will turn into a light screen. So I enable it, it will turn into a dark theme. Then I can also select the theme icon option. Otherwise the whole icon, whole icon will turn, turn to the stock mode. Otherwise if I will just select the theme icon, it will change according to the theme. You can see over here, like I have turned on the theme icon, you can see it has been changed according to the theme color. If I will disable it, you can see over here it has changed to the stock version. So I just like the theme version so I keep it otherwise you can also change the app grid like how much you want on your home screen accordingly if you want to keep a big screen you can go with 3x3 three three and 2x2 two two as well so after that you can apply from here and everything will be applied to your home screen and as it's a pixel experience roam it doesn't come with a lot of customization option it comes with the basic tweaks but the one thing which I love about all the custom rooms which comes recently is a AOD which comes with a working AOD if you go to ambient display you can just turn on always on and come to this really cool animation if you go to lock screen to AOD like you can see over here I just love this thing about this room like it's so seamless you can see over here it comes with the basic security options such as pin password and fingerprint scanner but it doesn't come with the face unlock and I think it will be added in the future version so you don't have to worry it's in just in beta so we can't expect a lot from it and I also run some tests on Geek Benchmark and you can see the scores over here it's a pretty good score on Android 13 the overall score is almost the same and it works pretty well like I didn't saw much of a bug on this ROM like sometimes it gets hanged to be very honest to be very frank but else it's pretty good and one more issue that I encountered was when you change the edit slider, slider it works it gives you that vibration feedback but it doesn't show anything on the screen like with see on the stock firmware and other custom room and it will be fixed really soon I know that when the, the software update will be rolled out apart from that it doesn't come with a really good camera as you can see over here like I say always with like other custom rooms it doesn't come with very good camera and it's you can just install the G cam if you want if you don't like this camera and if you want to know how you can install the G cam then we'll link on top right corner of this video and go there and install G cam it will work pretty fine and the one thing I didn't like about this ROM, like I've seen almost every ROM, is this doesn't come with a good speaker quality. I don't know what's wrong with the speaker quality. Like I don't know if it's doing any justice on video or not, but when I actually listen to it like stock, stock ROM and on a custom ROM, I can see the little less volume. So when I first install this ROM, I can't see the network on my SIM. I don't, don't know what was the problem with it but after 2-3 hours it came like I actually decided not to make a review video just because of that issue but after 2-3 hours when the network like did show up I ended up making this review and just ended up uploading this video as well I'm sorry for the delay but 
that was the only problem which held me on so as you can see this rom comes with the wideband l3 security i don't know for what reason that means your netflix and stuff won't work on the like most top quality and i think it will be fixed on the later version when you will get an update or something as i saw a lot of like small tweaks like if you click on this internet settings and everything you will see this small pop up in ui which we see on the android 13 version and everything else just worked pretty fine i didn't found any problem while using this gnome for a while like sometimes it happens that it get hangs here or there but it's okay it's totally fine it's completely usable and i think if you even use it for as a daily driver it won't make much of a difference if you are not using netflix and other streaming platforms that will have a problem while you watching it on high quality else if you will ask me it's a pretty stable pretty good rom supposed to be in beta it will be like better in future of course i know that i have like already reviewed two pixel experience rom in the past and i think i will be doing it more and it's really good to see that they came up with the android 13 version really quick and i really i was really excited personally about the android 13 for one was 70 as you already know that android 12 has not been rolled out yet officially for one was 70 so now let's move to the installation part so first go to the link in description below and you will be on this website pixel experience and when you will scroll down you will see a download pixel experience rom option just click on that and you will be redirected to a pixel experience website and after that scroll down to see this 13 beta click on that and then scroll down just click on this latest build then after that click on download build in then click on the latest build and then click on download recovery so as you can see here you can just you just need to press keep and both our files are getting downloaded so you have to wait until it get finished so once all the file has been downloaded you need to keep that in a separate folder so that it will be easier for you to navigate throughout the entire process So as you can see, I have just downloaded and kept it in a different folder named Pixel Experience Android 13. So after this step, you'll need to move back to your mobile device. So as you can see, currently I'm on my OnePlus 70 and it's running on Option OS 11, that's latest version, and it's not running on any custom ROM. So you have to make sure that you have already unlocked your bootloader, as I told you in the start of this video. So once it's done, go to your About phone. and go to the build number and press it for 5 times and once it says you are a developer just go back go to your system and go to the developer option and make sure usb debugging option is running and click on okay and once it's done you will need to boot your device into fast boot mode I'll tell you how to do that in a second so first you have to just power off your device Once your device is powered off, just press and hold volume or hold down and power key all at once. Now, as you can see, currently we have booted into a fast boot mode, and you can see the device state is unlocked. That means our bootloader has been unlocked. Now, after this step, you need to connect your device to your PC. I'll do that now. My device has been connected. Now you can head back to your PC again. So once you are on your PC once again, just click on this top search icon and type in CMD. and press enter and after that you need to type fast boot devices to check whether your device is connected in fast boot mode or not and press enter and if you can see a strings of number along with fast boot written beside it that means your pc has detected your device in fast boot mode and if not there'll be a video link on top right corner just go there and that video might help you to get your device detected in fast boot mode and after this when your pc detects your device in fast boot mode you need to type in fast boot boot and then copy the name of this recovery file so i'll go there type in right click show more options d name control c to copy the file name and again open cmd and paste the file name by pressing control plus v and press dot img at the end because it's a image file as you can see your disk image file and press enter Once you do that, your phone will boot into the recovery mode. As you can see here, Pixel Experience Recovery VRM. So after this step, you have to go to the factory reset option. Use the volume down key to go to the factory reset, and press power key to select that option. 
and then again click on power option to select that option then use the volume down key and just click on format data by using power key and ZIP at the end as a zip file. After that, press enter and wait for it to get completed. So, this process will take a little time. So, you need, can go back and relax and come back later on. If you are new to my channel, if you want to see more videos like this, sub, sub to the channel will really appreciate it. So, installation will stop at probably 47%, and you will see that's total X for 1.00x. But it doesn't matter, this is the whole process. Your ROM has been installed on your device. You don't have to worry about anything. So after it has been installed, you can see this kind of screen on your OnePlus 70 device as you see now in front of me. So after this, So this was my review video for the Pixel Experience ROM for OnePlus 70 device based on Android 13 and I also showed you how you can install this on your OnePlus 70 device so I hope this gave you a little judgement that you should install this ROM on your OnePlus 70 device or not so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please press this like button if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing for more awesome tech related content like this so this is it for this video I will meet you in the next one Snaptech signing out